owl glass thing. It's not a bell, it, but it is Fenton. Can you see the sticker? Hi guys, my name is Missy, and I am a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage sales, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, dumpsters, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another haul video for you today. Um, in this haul video, you're going to see what me and Ross picked up at Bibles for Mission in Pella and then the almost free shop in the town we live in, Knoxville. So, um, I will show you first what we got at Bibles for Mission. And the whole day, I, oh, this is my dog sweater. I forgot I bought a dog sweater at a different store. I can't find the receipt, but I'm pretty sure this total spend on this haul was less than $20, or about $20 is what I spent. So the first thing that I got was this Nora Taki um, hand-painted little dish. And I'm not for sure what these dishes are called with just this one little handle, but it's so pretty with the swan. And for one dollar, for a hand painted, oops, it's upside down. Sorry. For a hand painted Noritake dish, I thought that was really a good deal for one dollar. Okay, then I got for fifty cents this. I we eat ramen noodles here. We like ramen, um, but I got it because it's from World Market. And I'm, I'm going to resell this, obviously. We don't need any more bowls, but it was only 50 cents. 50 cents. No chips or cracks. Nice ramen bowl. Okay. I don't know where the rest of my stuff went. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Then I got this. It's I have it already bagged up in a bag back in the bag but it's a vintage um, die cut cardboard cut out of Valentine's so, and it's double sided and this was only 50 cents so you can't beat that 50 cents okay then I'll show you that last show you my favorite thing last then I got this and it is I'm gonna take it out I haven't even opened it up yet. But the good thing about this thrift store, like I said in my previous video, um, the Bibles for Mission one, they test all of their um, stuff before they sell it. So they'll tell you if it works or if it doesn't work, which that's really nice. But for this, it's a strawberry shortcake remote control car. And cute see they say that it they tested it and it does work so that's pretty cool and it comes with the two little girls there it comes with the two little girls riding in it and they got seat belts how cute and it's a remote control. Adorable. And it, like I said, it was only $4. I looked them up online. I looked all this stuff up online because I'm trying to be more picky and just buy stuff that'll sell. So, And those look like they do pretty well. And then I got this vintage Fisher Price boat with the flag still. A lot of the times when you find these, they'll be missing this flag and they'll be missing the pull string or the little people. See, it's got little people tape to it. And this was five. I paid five for this, but it's in, it's in really good shape. All the stickers are still intact. It needs cleaned up a little bit, but not too bad. 
So for five bucks, I thought it was cool. Okay, and then the last thing that I got at Bibles for Mission is my favorite thing and I'm keeping it. It is this tall swung vase and I love these. I collect these. I really, really like these a lot. I have a red one and this is my second one to add to my collection and I only paid two dollars for this. Two dollars. Can you believe it? I couldn't believe it. It is so pretty. I love it. So that's staying in my collection. Okay, so that's what I got at the Bibles for Mission. Then at the Almost Free Shop, okay. the first thing I got was this Melissa and Doug Monster Bowling Set. And it is brand new in the package. And I only paid $1 for it. So that's not bad at all. And Melissa and Doug stuff's not cheap. Their toys are not cheap, so. And it's brand new. Cool. I must have been into buying toys that day, I guess. I don't really know. Okay, so then I found this extra large vintage dad sweater. These are coming back into style. And I paid it $1 for this. You see it? And then there's the label. So it's pretty cool. A vintage dad sweater. These are totally coming back in. Don't ask me why, but they are. <laughs> All right. Then I got a Paris Hilton purse. I don't, I was just looking up, looking at the stuff and I don't, I don't know why I got this. I have no idea. Normally I wouldn't pick up stuff like this, but it was 50 cents and it's in good shape, but it's Paris Hilton. I don't know why I picked it up. 50 cents, I guess. Like I said, normally I wouldn't pick this up, but I'm not for sure why. I took Ross with me that day, so. Then I got this for 25 cents, and I normally wouldn't pick this stuff up either. But I did Google, I did look up the, the name. And I know these sell for kind of, I don't know why they sell for quite a bit of money, but they do. And he's cute, he's a poodle. And he was only 25 cents. So I'll have to look him up back up again. Then I got this and I, I don't know why I got this either. I don't know what was gotten into me that day. I just thought it was funny. George Washington for president. <laughs> and this is size, size small. I don't know if you guys can see the tag, it's kind of wrinkled up, but it's size small. George Washington for president. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't, there's gotta be some reason to my madness. Then I got this set of old time 007 DVDs. And these were only a quarter a piece and they're like brand new. I took all the DVDs out and they're like, all of them are like brand new. So for $1 for a set of 007 C DVDs is not bad. Not bad at all. $1. Okay. And then I got two of these and they were 25 cents a piece. And I don't really know why I got these either. They're Limoges. They don't have the cups with them. They're just little tea saucers, teacup saucers. But they're Limoges and they are only 25 cents a piece. I 
don't know if it's coming in very, not wanting to focus very well, but I thought they were cute. Just cute little, two cute little dishes, little plates. Lamoche for 50 cents. I didn't think that was bad. Okay, then I think I'm down to my last thing. The last thing that I got at the almost food shop was this owl glass thing. It's not a bell, it, but it is Fenton. Can you see the sticker? And I think this is a ring holder. I'm pretty sure this it holds rings right here and right here, I think. I'm going to have to do some more research, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But Fenton, can you see the Fenton label for 50 cents? Yes, please. That's why the Almost Free Shop is my favorite, favorite thrift store. I'm so glad that we have that here in Knoxville. Okay, guys, so that was my haul. Um, like I said, I only spent less than $20 that day on all my stuff, so... <clears throat> I'm pretty excited. Um, the Fisher Price thing alone should make me, the Fisher Price boat should make me all my money back. But um, if you see anything you're interested in, feel free to message me or follow me on um, eBay, Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, Macari, and of course all the link um, will be in the, the, all the links will be in the description below. And then um, the link to my YouTube channel will be below as well. So you can watch some of my old videos if you'd like. Um, until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Time out. I'm back. I was wrong. I was wondering why my box seemed so small. I'm like, I know I got more stuff than this because I spent about $20. So I got this. I forgot this was, I left this out in the Durango, but it's a stand. Don't mind my messy house. But it's a stand, see? And I think it might have been an old cosmetology card or some sort of card or something, but it was only five bucks. Five bucks for that card. I'm gonna sell this locally, of course. So, yeah. Can't beat for five bucks. Okay, guys, like I said, if there's anything that you're interested in, feel free to message me. Check out the links below. This weekend, I'm going to be adding a bunch of stuff to Etsy and eBay. So um, check it out. Like I said, the links will be in the description below. Right now, I have over 50-some items on my eBay, so check it out. Till next time, keep smiling. Happy picking. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.